Charles Germany, and today we're going to take a look at Linux's uh, POSIX permission system. came from Unix, we're in Ubuntu 7 or Feisty Fawn, and you can manage things graphically. Um, leave that terminal. Uh, we'll take a look at a couple other graphical tools. So for users and groups, if I wanted to. Um, cursor's blinking now. To go ahead and read the uh, group file and the password file. But if I wanted to add a user, I could add the user here. Modify privileges. If I wanted to manage groups, I could manage groups or add a group. I could add members of the group. So it kind of gives you similar functionality to what you might find on 2008, 2003 server or say VStar XP Pro. Um, and there are several other graphical tools that are very convenient um, for administering services, just like you you know, have that graphical capability in, in Windows, you also have it in Linux. Um, to get a, a better grasp, here's like remote desktop, if I were going to use remote desktop, I can choose to uh, you know, grant permission to connect. And basically, if anybody who has a VNC client, if I change the password here to password, um, now you have permission to connect to me via remote desktop. Um, so you have all these wonderful graphical tools, but again, just, just to try to illustrate things, we're going to use some of the command line tools today. And we'll take a look at the permission system and just adding a few users and, and groups and things. So I'll try to blow this up nice and big so everybody can see what I'm typing. I have, I have no idea what the resolution will be by the time I compress this. Small enough to fit on YouTube, but we'll, we'll try. Um, so first off the bat, let's use the... Well, let's see where we are. Um, I'm going to go over here and over here. Print working directory. Okay, now, there's the groups command that'll show us, you know, the groups that we're in. And you can supplement that, you can supply a username. So here are all the groups I'm in. Now, every user who gets created or added in Linux is added to a group, core, you know, that matches their name and by default they are the only member of that group with the exception of I'm also admin so I have root privileges or I have sudo root privileges. Um, now if I wanted to specify another user I could groups root and then depending on the permissions you may have to sudo but let's go ahead and create a user well, even before we do that, maybe we should look at the configuration files and, you know, we'll look at them before and after. Um, th most of your configuration files in Linux are in a folder called e uh, ETC. I like to affectionately, affectionately call it Etsy, um, but ETC, etc., whatever. Um, these files um, you know, all of these configuration files may usually be found in the ETC folder. There's a few you'll find in like, um, you know, boot forward slash grub, grub conf, your, your grub configuration file, but most of them are in ETC. Um, in this case, I'm looking at the group file, and these are all of, you know, all of the groups that we have. So here's Austin Powers, um, you know, kind of like in some of our other examples. We have a Dr. Evil. Um, let me pipe that to less, so we can pause it. We'll go over and look for Dr. Evil. And, you know, we have a lot of, of daemon groups here, the different daemon juice. And... Looks like there's no Dr. Evil here. So let's do that. Let's add Dr. Evil. So we're going to use a command called user add Dr. Evil. And, oops. We need to use sudo. Keep thinking I'm in Fedora and I'm in uh, Feisty Fun. Okay, so we used user add to add Dr. Evil. Now we need to give a password to Dr. Evil. And that's the password command. Um, and we won't give Dr. Evil a complex password. That way Austin Powers will, will have an easy time uh, brute forcing his password or possibly even a, a, a dictionary attack. Um, <laughs> now what we want to do is look at our group file and notice now, again, now there's a group for Austin Powers and Dr. Evil, all of, all of our users. And also we'll look at the password file. So I'm going to 
And you can see, you know, it's it's an encrypted or hashed value, Austin Powers or Dr. Evil. Um, by the way, one of the things you can do in Linux, um, if you ever lock yourself out, forget your password, or need to do a password recovery, if you will go in and delete this section um, where the hashed password value is stored, um, now you'll need to gain temporary root privileges, so like boot off of a live CD, and then you have to be able to mount the uh, ext2 or ext3 or riser partition. But once you do that, if you can change this and save it, you can reboot the system and then log in as that user, and you won't have to type a password at all. And then you can use the password command to reset the password. Similar to kind of what you can do with Locksmith and, and Windows. You know, I can use Locksmith, you can boot up and you can, you know, change the administrator password in XP or uh, 2003 server if someone has forgotten their password or they're locked out of their machine. Um, so anyway, we've, we've made a couple of these users here. Now we're going to make a couple of groups, so we're going to use a command called group add. And in the group add command, um, we're going to make, let's see, we'll make one group called good guys. And once again, let me sudo. And we're going to make one group called bad guys. Okay. Now we want to use a command called user mod, and we want to set the primary group um, and we'll append user mod and we want to add in this case let's do Set our use a G option here. And once again I need to sudo that. Okay. Now let's make we're gonna we're gonna group, use the command groups. Um and again we just want to make sure that so he's a member of Dr. Evil and now he's a member of bad guys. That's his primary group. So we're also gonna want to do group excuse me, user mod and we will give Austin Powers group membership and what do we call it good guys we'll put him in good guys Austin Powers okay let me do Austin Powers yeah okay now we'll use groups And Austin Powers is now in good guys. So we'll look at our file system. 